It's time now for our two-minute drill. Joining us now, Barbara Ann Bernard, a Wincrest Capital CEO and CIO. It's nice to see you. I apologize in advance. This might very well be the one-minute drill today. We're a little heavy. It's all good. Uh, Freeport McMoran, that's your first long. Talk to me. Why? Hi, Scott. Great to have you on board. Um, so I think in this market, a lot of things have sold off indiscriminately. And one, if you have a longer term view and can stomach some volatility, would be copper. Copper has colossal demand from the energy transition and, in fact, will be in deficit by 2025. However, on the back of recessionary fears, copper and copper miners have sold off significantly. And so in mining, there's a saying that the cure for low prices is low prices. And so if you look at the marginal cost of production for copper, we estimate it's about $3 a, t a pound. That's our downside scenario. And when you look at these miners, particularly the junior miners, the share price is implying $2.15 a pound, which is 35% below the current spot rate for copper. So if you have a longer term view, I think it's a phenomenal buying opportunity for great companies yeah, like Freeport. Because copper's cratered, right? I mean, and it's all about those slowdown and or recession fears. Correct. So you're short Knight Swift, is that right? The trucking company, KNX, can you tell me why? Yeah, it's a tricky industry, right? Even though it's one of the largest players in the U.S., they only have 2% market share. The industry is capital intensive. They're low barriers to entry. And when I look at the headwinds they have in terms of freight rates coming down, um, and if the Fed succeeds with demand destruction, you're going to see lower volumes too. Couple that with higher input costs, i.e. fuel and labor, and we see deteriorating margins. So this is a stock where the street is implying 15% operating margins versus the normalized margin for this business, which is 10%. So if I take next year's sales estimates and apply a normalized margin, I get a $3.15 share estimate. Um, and on nine times earnings, that gives you $28 price target, which is 40% downside from here. So not a company that um, I would want to be long, certainly more headwinds than tailwinds at this point. Got you. Barbara Ann, I appreciate your time. Thanks for your understanding as well. Barbara Ann Bernard.